Hello again. I just want to talk to you real quick about what happens when you get a notice of hearing or, or, an, or an order to appear uh, to the courthouse for your particular case and you can't make it because you have a scheduling conflict. What do you do? Hi, my name is attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner and founder of Genius Law Group here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we practice law and we do it well. So, uh, you've been waiting for a court date. You finally get that court date for this very, very important matter in your life and voila, you have a conflict, right? So what do you do on that date? Well, obviously, uh, because you want your uh, matter to be heard, uh, you're, you're probably gonna make that a priority, right? You wanna make it to that court uh, date because it's either your motion or the other party's motion and you're gonna want some sort of resolution in your case. So you're gonna wanna make that a priority because court dates are hard to come by. Uh, but uh, what happens if you can't uh, reschedule your conflict. Well, you can talk to the other party and ask them if they will agree to a continuance. If they uh, will agree to a continuance, then both of you have to essentially sign an agreement or a stipulated order. You send it to the court, um, telling the court and requesting that the court that you both have uh, agreed that you will change or uh, you agree to continue the hearing for another day and that you're asking the court to vacate it and then to reset it for another day. And hopefully you won't have a conflict on the day that it's reset, right? Now, if the other party is unwilling uh, to stipulate to continue the hearing, then uh, the next step for you to do is to file a motion with the court. So you're gonna to wanna to file the motion, give the court the reason why you're filing the motion, and then um, either the court will uh, on its own decide whether or not they're gonna continue the hearing or the court could have a hearing on your motion to continue to determine whether or not they should uh, continue the hearing or not. Now, time is everything, right? So if you wait uh, a, a day or two, or may, I would even say a week, um, to tell the court that, hey, I have a conflict, they may not honor your continuance, especially if they've given you plenty of notice. My experience is the court usually give, gives gives the parties at least 30 days notice before a hearing, sometimes longer. Now, there are instances in where the time frame is shorter. I've seen notices within a week or two, right? And so, whatever time that you get that and you recognize that you have um, a conflict um, with that hearing with the court, make sure you act immediately so that you can get uh, some resolution. So what happens if the judge doesn't continue? Well, you gotta make uh, you got to make it right. You got to make it to the hearing because if you don't, uh, the court may, if it's your motion, dismiss it, or if it's the other party's motion, they may grant them um, a default um, in their favor, and it could be a detrimental uh, to your case. All right, folks, that's all I have. If you know anyone that might benefit from this video, please share it with them. Also, if you're if you have the ability to subscribe, please subscribe so that whenever uh, we drop new videos and content that you'll uh, get that update as well. All right, folks, thank you and have a great day.